we see those heavier squalls moving in from south to north, gusts up to 60. The worst of it happens this evening. The heavy rain bands, the high tide that Chris was mentioning, an astronomical high tide because the full noon coinciding with the heavy rain and winds piling on that water 90 miles per hour tomorrow morning. We slowly creep out of it. The rain decreases. The winds decrease gradually. So it's still not safe to be outside for many of you tomorrow with winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. And then things slowly improve day by day. But we have a lot to get through before we get there. Michael and Darlene, over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Raphael. We want to show you where conditions are worsening. News 4 is Bryn Gingrass Live in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. And it really has been looking up there, Bryn. Uh, you got the hat back. Or is that a new one? <laughs> No, new one. <laughs> it's a new one. Oh, <laughs> you almost lost it again. Me too. <laughs> I just don't think they like my head, Michael. You know what? You know I played basketball in college, Michael. I mean, it's a good thing I did because I'm in full defensive stance right now, modified version at least, because when those wind guns happen that Raphael and Chris were talking about, they are really strong. I mean, you're seeing wow, it right now. Head, head, them. Head, They're head. pretty strong, and I'm having a hard time standing up. Now, when the wind actually does dies down, I guess it's all relative, but when it dies down, it's not so bad. But I gotta tell you, that rain is killing me, Michael. That rain hurts. It is a mixture of the rain, and it is a mixture of the wind, and it feels like it's ice slamming against my face. And I gotta also tell you, when it, it's bouncing off of my coat, so I'm not quite I'm not convinced that this isn't uh, ice, because that's how cold it feels out here. Now, Eddie is showing you the, the waves that we've been showing you throughout the morning. Tide is still coming in, and I seriously have never seen waves this strong. I mean, they are really forceful at this point. The water is continuing to creep even closer and closer to the boardwalk. It is now starting to go underneath the boardwalk, and we're seeing some puddling um, where our live truck is about 50 yards or so from where I'm standing. Um, but yeah, this tide's coming in and it's going to be some dangerous flooding in Seaside Heights for residents. And I know I keep talking to you and I'm out of breath. It's only because it is cold and I swear my body is just right to be warm and it's also straight to make sure I stand on my two feet because it's really bad out of here right now. Because I should talk to you. Uh, the police officers who have been going up and down this boardwalk, and they tell me they haven't seen anybody uh, out here. So that's why I don't know why anybody would want to, but I did actually see three gentlemen who didn't want to talk on camera. Maybe they were a little bit embarrassed, but they're the three people who are roaming around this town cleaning storm drains. If you remember, the governor, uh, Christy, asked, that the that water wouldn't get caught up in those drains and you know, contribute to flooding. So that's their job this morning. But they did come here to take a look at the rain and I think they they got out of here. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Let's go back to you guys. Not at all. And you're here for the same thing this morning. Brent, thank you. We're going to Long Branch, New Jersey. I'm going to go to the forest. Harry, check my stand by. Harry, what are the conditions like? Well, guys, uh, you know, you may be wondering which side of that building I'm on. You know, that building that's been protecting me. And then uh, a few minutes ago, we were on the windy side. Well, we're actually on the protective side. It doesn't look too safe, does it? Uh, rain coming down now. So finally, the rain has arrived. Coming at a pretty brisk pace. And you can see that the uh, the boardwalk here in Long Branch is pretty slick as well, uh, believe it or not. So that's also a little bit of a factor for anyone that would even think about coming out here. We've actually seen a few people come out to snow in the storm. تحياتي لكم من استاد ايلاند ومن منزلنا هذا الصباح الساعه
46 لكن من بين 45 إلى اللقاء وإلى أفلام أخرى إن شاء الله بنقول لها إلقاء من أمريكا أهلا وسهلا إيش عامل يا ولد وليش أنت هنا ها لا لا زمان عنك زمان أربعة أشهر أنت بخاف منك والله بخاف منك مجرم حرب بدي أسميك شارون 